right, everyone, welcome to the step-by-step -step section of this bass drum tuning video. Now we're going to be working with this 20-inch bass drum, and I'm going to take you through a variety of tunings, both loose backhead and tight backhead, and then a variation of, of tunings for the front that'll work, and these concepts will work both well for a 20 as well as a 22, but for this bass drum, we're going to try to get a big boomy sound like a 22, a mid-range punchy sound, and then a sound where you have a loose front head, but a tight back head, because some of y'all like to have a lot of rebound in your bass drum, so I want to give you some options to understand how you can work this bass drum situation. Now, here we have the top, the, the front head, the reso head, and I'm actually gonna put a little bit of a tune on it to start, because I'm gonna have to stretch the back head, it's a brand new back head, so I'm gonna take you through that process. Uh, but I want some tension on this front head just to begin with, so I kinda know where my pitch is. Um. Well, that's a B flat and that's pretty low. That's a great starting point. Now I have all these finger tightened and I'm gonna go ahead and go over them one more time just to double check to make sure that everything is kind of in place. Now this X right here, is dropping it down to about an E. So I want to take this just here, a 16th, here a 16th with the offset X. A little bit more there. One more nudge on the wrinkle guy. One more good push. Beautiful. Uh-uh. E flat to F, and we've got the starting point for this bass drum, y'all. Let's check it out. Okay, y'all, here we are at the kit with this little 20 inch kick, and we are tuned with a whole step between the heads. They're pretty darn loose, and about as loose as they can get on this drum head without having wrinkles and flap. So let's see what it gives us with that whole step. All right, you can hear the fatness of this little 20, man. It's big and fat. Got some punch to it, but not quite as punchy as I would like. So we're gonna take this front head up just a little bit in pitch, and I'm gonna show you how to do that with a set of turns and try to get that whole step to a, like a major third between these two heads, all right? Let's get to it, y'all. Okay, y'all, so we're at the front of the bass drum. We're gonna go ahead and take it up a set of about 16th turns and see if that does what I needed to do. So far, this bass drum has been a bit responsive. So I have a... Oh, uh, that's the crack I wanted to hear. Do, re, re, do. All right, do, re, mi, re, do. So around a two 16th turns kind of brought us up to the top on this bass drum. So let's reset the camera, get an angle so you can see me playing this kit, and let's check out what this major third actually sounds like on this bass drum. Solid.
All right, you can hear that sound totally and completely punch up the bass drum just a little bit. More focused tone, a punchier, brighter tone. And so to get to the perfect fourth, I'm actually gonna take this back head down, and then I'm gonna take this head tight on the back and super loose in the front so you can see your, kind of what that sounds like, y'all. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, now thankfully I have my little GoPro camera over here recording all of this stuff for me. So you can see from this side as I move the snare drum just a smidge to actually see what I'm doing in this bass drum. Now I'm just gonna take this head down. I know it's pretty loose, but I bet I can go. So that front head, it dropped a little bit in pitch when we loosened up this back head, and that's something I always talk to people about, let you know sometimes when you drop some tension, a drum head can kind of, on the other side, can drop a little bit in pitch too. So we get that perfect fourth. Bum, bum. Ha ha! So let's check this bad boy out and see what it sounds like. See if lowering the back head at a little more boom and keeping it at that perfect fourth gives you that extra bit of punch that you want for your bass drum. All right, everyone, so for this next tuning, we're gonna go ahead and tighten up this back head just a little bit more and give it about a round of about, oh, I don't know. Yeah, so I wanna give it just a little bit of sharpening to make sure that major third interval is good because this is a great interval for those people who have like 24s or you just like having the back head tight and that's the way it is, but you don't wanna have a, a timbali for a bass drum. So all you really wanna do is take this for an inverted third where this is higher. Get this pillow off so you can hear it. All right, y'all, so let's pop it in and see what this sounds like. All right, now we're here back at the drum. Ooh, and I'm digging that. We have a super low front head that's at an E flat. This is for drummers who like uh, a tight back head and want some bottom end. Get that loose front head, you'll get that bottom end. Shall we?
All right, y'all, so that's the major third inverted with a tighter back head and the looser front head, and that is absolutely fabulous. Lots of punch for a 20-inch kick drum, and a lot of bottom end for a 20-inch kick drum. And this is generally what I do with my 20-inch kick drum, because it gives me the rebound I need to play the figures I want to play comfortably, but all the bottom end to know that it's kicking through the house like a big bass drum should. So I hope you enjoyed this video on tuning your bass drum. Please remember that sometimes with a bass drum, only a set of 16th turns in a geometric pattern is all you need to go up like a half step to even a whole step sometimes. So just pay attention to those things as you move through these gradations and the different tuning intervals that I demonstrated for you today. And in the end, I hope these help you find the bass drum sounds you were looking for. If you enjoyed this video, please watch more of my videos at YouTube, Kenny Sherritz, or at KennySherritz.com where you can stream step-by-step -step drum tuning lessons that help walk you through all these tunings that like I showed you in this bass drum video, y'all. So please check it out, and as always, thank you for watching.